Hey guys, how you doing? I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and I welcome you to the video series Dreamland Canada. This video series will help you settle in Canada and make a buttery smooth transition from your home country to your dreamland Canada. Now this video is a bit different because whatever videos I've made so far for this video series have been those sketch videos but this video I decided to come over here and talk to you guys because lately I have moved to Canada and I wanted to talk about the first week in Canada. So some of you might not be aware of who I am and what I do. So I am Shitanshu and uh, I'm a software engineer by profession. I moved to Canada in the year 2017, like uh, one and a half years ago. And uh, since then I've been here. Yes, I've been on a vacation for three and a half months. It was a long, long vacation because it was my marriage and I wanted to enjoy every single moment of it. So I wanted to go for a vacation uh, for that meanwhile. So I was away from Canada. I was in India for that time. But now I'm back in Canada and think what? I'm very new over here because I don't have a home, I don't have a car and I don't have a license. So the last time when I came over here, uh, you know, I came over in October, suddenly in December, you know, the winter started and I started postponing things. Then in March I started making videos and didn't get any time to, you know, get the license and get the training for G2. So now I am doing it and the good thing is that I'll be making videos for each and every step of how to settle in Canada. And I'll be making some practical videos, I'll be making some videos of how you can get the license, I'll be making some videos of uh, how you can get some Indian food over here. You know, I'll be making some videos of uh, real estate, how you can get some job over here. These kind of videos, how you can settle, how you can get your uh, you know, accommodation, a temporary accommodation and a permanent accommodation. All of these videos I'll be making and this video series is going to be very interesting. So now I'll tell you how I booked my place, how I booked the temporary accommodation. Of course, if you know someone over here, it would be quite easy for you. So I had my sister over here in Toronto. So, you know, as soon as I landed, I went to her place uh, to spend a night uh, over there. After that, I came to Waterloo and I had to book a temporary accommodation. Of course, I've got some friends over here, but that's not good for, you know, a long period of time. So I booked a uh, temporary accommodation for around 12 nights. And after that, when I was over here, I decided to go to kijiji.com to find another place. Now, this will be a temporary accommodation number two, or you can say it might be a permanent accommodation for in the future for me as well because this is a sublease which I've got and this is something which you can do as well why I'm telling you all of this because this can help you decide your temporary accommodation and how you will go along with the temporary accommodation in Canada in the first few weeks when you'll come here the first important things in the first week that you need to do is going uh, to service Canada getting your SIN number and opening your bank account after that you'll have to go to service Ontario as well for your uh, health card but that's like uh, you can go that there after one month so so the first week the primary thing which you should do is getting your sin number and opening your bank account and of course looking for a uh, future accommodation because first of all you would book the temporary accommodation for uh, you know let's say two weeks or maybe a month or two uh, from airbnb homeaway.com and there are different websites as i told you in the previous video so i'll tell you so many of these things through these videos so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it before moving to the other video all right so thank you so much guys for being with me for supporting me for uh, appreciating this video series and because of your appreciation, because of your motivation, I'm taking this video series to a new level. I'll introduce so many new things in Canada that you don't know. I'll show you how it is done. I'll show you how you can settle in Canada. If you like this video, please click the like button and uh, share it with your friends if you think it can be helpful for them as well. And of course, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click that subscribe button before moving on to the next video.